We cleared a few high rocks that were high centered. Good morning. morning. Julie and I are here today in Jeffrey Canyon. Uh, this area is about 20 miles north of Bishop on Highway 6. And we're about three miles up, up the canyon on the mining road. It's kind of a rough road, so I would recommend having a pretty good vehicle to make it this far. Uh, from here, we're going to continue on foot up Jeffrey Canyon, headed for the Spark Plug Mine Camp and possibly the Spark Plug Mine, although it's a pretty good climb up to the mine. I think it's over a 3,000 foot vertical climb to get to the actual mine. Well, we made the right decision by parking where we did. This looks like it would be impassable for us. So we're going to continue up this road a little ways. It's going to turn into a footpath. And first it's going to come to a mining camp, which is pretty well preserved from what I hear. The, this is the area where in 1920, Dr. Joseph Jeffrey discovered the a deposit of the mineral silimanite, which was used in making porcelain stronger for champion spark plugs. Uh, it was able to withstand the um, higher heat of jet engines and therefore it was pretty valuable in making spark plugs. It was also used uh, to make spark plugs for cars last much longer. So that's why we're going up here today. Um, let's go see what we find. Well, there are some remnants of something here. There's a slab over there. There's a probably a hopper there. There are some poles up here going up the mountain. Well, we're going up a fairly rugged wash here. There are some poles up there. I don't know if they're power poles or if it looks like it would have been a power pole. Well, that's a pretty rugged trail so far. We still have the power lines coming up to our left, heading uphill. I wonder if that slab we saw down at the bottom was for a generator supplied power up to this camp. This is the view up Jeffrey Canyon. Pretty scenic. Well, you can see this was an old road the way they've got it cut through this bank here. But look what's coming up next here. Do they get across this? Yeah, they do. They made a, a little wall down there, I bet you. Not much left of it, but I bet there was a good one at one point. Amazing these old miners make roads up here. Especially with the vehicles they had of the day. Well, there are a couple of old buckets sitting here. We're still working our way up Jeffrey Mine Canyon. It looks like the road might have gone down this way because of this cut. Uh, although the trail goes up this way. This is the canyon we're going up. The power lines are still here. I imagine they're going to lead to the camp at some point. And I don't know where the mine is. I see a hole way up on the side of that wall. I hope that's not where we have to go to get to the mine because that looks pretty tough. Pretty rugged country up here. We're switching back here now. This is the first switchback we've encountered. And we're going right by a power pole. Interesting country, way different than the Sierra that we've been in so far. We're at this power pole that you can see from a long ways off. Uh, it looks like we're going to cross this little stream that I can hear water flowing out of. Uh, this is looking behind us. Across the Owens Valley. Here's a little stream. Not much flow, but I guess most of the snow is melted already this year. Definitely be enough to drink, fill your water bottle up with, but don't think we'll be trout fishing. Well, there's an old ladder. 
maybe it was part of the trail at one time. But now we're going up this way. Well, I see one power pole up there. And I believe that's going to be where the camp is. We're just about there, about another 100 feet up and a tenth of a mile. Here's the look across the Owens Valley to Mount Tom and Basin Mountain. And now we've got our first view of the camp across this big wash here. Well, here we are crossing a little bridge over to the camp area. It's the Black Eagle Camp. This is the trail to the upper mines, which we're hoping to take if we have time. Here's their little welcome area. Upper mine, two miles, Bishop 26, LA 297, the Hilton 80 feet, so on and so forth. A load of old shovels there and some old drill bits. Let's take the tour. I'm not going to get too in-depth because I know there's a lot of videos on this already. But we'll take a cruise around. Well, here's the Hilton. They have a little wood burner, a table, um, a little pantry with some supplies, a bed, a bigger table, another bed, some books, even some reading glasses, thermometer. Okay, that was the Hilton. Still in pretty good shape. Let's see what else we have here. Looks like an outhouse, maybe. A bridge. This one's a little rougher shape been beat up pretty good looks like it was a pretty good sized sink area not sure what's over there let's go over here this looked like the mess hall or the main kitchen didn't it yeah. can you hold this open there's a big wood stove although somebody's got a gas grill on top of it there are a couple Coleman stoves a few more beds in here a guitar here. it's got a couple broken strings but Got a wood stove. Three beds that look usable. And a big table. And somebody's got a telescope, it looks like, over in the corner. So this looks like the mess hall. I wish they uh, could tell some stories. If walls could talk, right? This looks like the pantry. Yep, this would have been the pantry. The old water heater. Wood fired. That's got a propane tank underneath there too, but pretty cool. Here's the Black Eagle Museum. Oh, there's there ain't all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Old drill bits, hammers, boots, minerals. Boots. 
Looks like an old radio. 1927 radio. But where are the spark plugs? Yeah. Nice bottle collection. Old tobacco can collection. A pocket tobacco can. This is up at high camp, I guess, this picture here, photograph. There are the spark plugs. I knew they'd be around somewhere. Uh, I don't know what this is. What is this, Joey? Switch box and air compressor. Air compressor. This is snuff box. Snuff box. So that's the museum. The mine is all the way up past that rounded mountain top there. I don't know what this is. There's another building over there. Two more buildings here and we're going to go look in here right now. Take a quick peek. This is another little sleeping cabin. This is a nice one actually. Two beds. Quite clean. Nice. Little wood stove. Everything you need. There's another little cabin. Nice. Nice little bed. You got a sleeping bag. Another wood stove. Yeah, there's the shower. And the water heater for this shower, it looks like. This one's got a little deck looking out over the... Jeffrey Mine Canyon. There's a slab. I'm not sure what happened to this one, if it burned or what. Maybe another outhouse over there. Looks like a little storage shed up that way. This looks like the shop. The workbench. Um, a cart carrying stuff, a vise. Oh, a nice set of tools for the people that are maintaining this place. Looks like everybody's leaving things alone. Looks like they got uh, room to make a couple more cabins for sleeping. This must have been kind of a bunkhouse. It's got another half to it here. got a place where you could sleep there's some foam and these little work though but still you could sleep in there if you want to so that must be the bunkhouse there are a couple more cabins up there maybe we should go visit those and then we'll be done here's one of these upper cabins yeah this is a nice one a couple of beds table Mattresses, not too bad, wood stove. They've got it all wired for electricity, but I don't know if there is any. And here's the last cabin. It's got a nice red round table and a bench out here. A wood stove, two beds, a little desk. Some books, uh, little pantry area and stuff. Real nice. Even some syrup. I'm surprised the bears haven't come after that. All right, let's go find the mine. 
we got to get up over the back of that mountain with the hole in it. Looks like we're getting a little snow over there towards Humphrey. All right, on to the mine. Let's go through the grand entrance here. What? It looks like it is. So that's looking over the camp. It took us about an hour and a half to get up to the camp, mm -hmm. and it was about two miles from where we parked at the end of the road. And now we're leaving for the... Uh, Upper, yeah, the high camp or the mines, or whatever, and it's about 11:30. What a minerally looking area! All different colors of rocks: white, red, brown, yellow. Well, that's behind us. This is up at the opening to the stope. And this is the way we're going. It's pretty rugged. Beautiful area, though. Well, here's a power pole. And a few more down below me leading back to camp. I still see one up this way. Here's this mineral rich mountain top. Look at all the colors in that. Wow, these are some big mountains. These are the White Mountains, and White Peak is over 14,000, I know that. Boundary Peaks on the other end of these, the northern end, that's 13 something which is Nevada's highest peak. Well, the trail gets a little precipitous over here. Got a little cairn over there still. Well, we're making progress. Here's an old road wall or trail wall. Looks like I see a tunnel up there. And there's a power pole even. That's looking out across Owens Valley again. Looks like it's getting ready to snow. It's supposed to snow tonight at 6,000 feet and above. Here's this mountainside that they've really got perforated with a bunch of tunnels and diggings. We're getting closer to the camp now. We're starting to see some buildings, a can dump. They got power poles still that came all the way up here. Well, here's what you see when you're around the corner to the camp. I guess there were a couple more buildings here that burned. Someone at the lower camp had written that it was from arson, but I'm not sure how they know that or if it's true, but that's what they said. There's a nicer looking building up here. It's not burned. Well, there's a lot of debris up here. This looks like it was an old pump, I think. Although I'm not an expert on wood machinery. There are some footings over here that could have been for an engine. Or a generator or both. A lot of weird remains of stuff. Here's this other cabin. Had power going to it at one time from all the way at the bottom. Here's another wall that they've built. Oh, looks like a little, little tunnel right there. A lot of diggings over here. I'm not sure how and what's safe to look into, but I guess we could go look. Well, here's a pretty big entrance to 
something. There's another big one over there. This one has a cave in pretty soon after you get in here. Looks like that caved in from an upper level up there. Let's go a little way and see what it looks like. No, well, it's hard rock. There's no bracing. I'm not going to be able to get very far, it doesn't look like. Nope, that's, that's the end of this one. Uh, that's blocked off. I don't know where that went, so that didn't go any very far unless it goes down. So that's a no go. That didn't go very far. No, there's a... It's a cave-in, plus it looks like it goes down, so it might turn into a shaft. I don't know what this little thing's doing here. Looks like an old furnace. Here's another tunnel or at it. There's a little stope. Oh yeah, there's another stope that goes up. End of the line there. There must have been a vein of this stuff going up that way. It's got some metallic stuff in the rock. I wonder if that's what they're looking for. So not very long, but interesting. Well, they've got diggings all over this mountainside. Not really any long tunnels though, just or long drifts. Kind of just random stopes and rooms. I wish I knew exactly what that silimanite that they were looking for looks like, but I don't. Looking across at the cabin. I like the roof is shot on that. Probably gonna be in pretty rough shape. So it took us about an, a little less than an hour and a half to get up here from the lower camp. That's uh that must be a little explosive room or something there. So here's another tunnel or yeah, I guess the tunnel goes straight on through. Diggings. Oh, this one goes this way. Let's look out this way. Yikes, look at the big can dump down there. Huge. Let's go this way. You know I'm going to, don't you? This is pretty solid. 
Is this the one you see from down below? There's a broken drill bit or bent one. One more to go through. Getting cold up here. Woo! Windy. Okay, let's not go too close to the edge where we look at it. Yeah, this is the one you see from down below. There's the camp down there. There's another building that we missed. We have a bit of a tunnel here. Let's go take a little look. I don't think any of these adits or drifts go real far in this thing for some reason. See, once again, this one just goes a little ways. That's the end of it. Kind of cool the way they got this whole mountain perforated though. There's a hang glider up there. Just riding the breeze. Might be kind of chilly up there. Well, here's inside of this house up here. It's looking out the window. I don't know why they built it so high on the hill, but it looks a little rotten on the floorboards here. Somebody crashed a rock through here somehow. It had a wood stove over in the corner with I can see the asbestos lining it there. Kind of a big place, isn't it? The windows aren't completely broken yet. This wall is about to cave in though because of a slide. I might find the quick way down here. Here's a ladder that went to the attic. And it's still got a table in here. A broom. Huh. Kind of a strange place for a house. It's too close to the hill for one thing. It's taking a lot of uh, slide hits from rock slides. So I guess that's going to wrap up our mine exploration for today. I went in as many things as I could. I think that's the one that just goes down below. This looks like completely different material. I don't know why they excavated that. This is that other little tunnel you're just on top of. This was an old shower. Look at that. And look at the wall they built here. What a beautiful wall. Nice job. Huh? Is that made? That is made, isn't it? And look at all the nice wall work they did. Too bad it got burned out. Hello, buddy. How are you?
it's pretty close to let me get to you. Hmm, brave little guy, huh? There's the mineral tower. Crazy place, isn't it? Uh, we're most of the way down back to the camp. Well, here's the old camp again. I just spotted another little building up here. Should we go see what's over there? Okay. Well, you come up here for the little bonus cabin. This is above the camp. Not sure what it was for, but see if we can find out. Looks like it's about 8 by 12, roughly. Pretty beat up. Kind of a cool oil can there. I just replaced the top on it. Fits perfectly. Uh, otherwise, not much going on here. A little shelf, painted shelf. Looks like there was a fireplace right here. Has the stovepipe. Still in pretty good shape, actually. Nice little bench. We're back to the camp, but we're not stopping because we got to get going. It looks like it's going to start snowing pretty soon. It's supposed to snow tonight. So let's see, it's 3 o'clock now. I forget what time we left the top. I think I might have said in the video. There goes the Hilton and the rest of the buildings. There must be about 10 buildings up here at least, something like that. We're just about back and it's probably none too soon because the Sierra Nevada mountains across the Owens Valley have disappeared into the clouds. Well, we're back to our vehicle after a great hike. The stats are as follows. The hike to the camp was two miles and the hike to the mine was another mile and a half. So it's a total of seven miles round trip. We had a 3,100 foot elevation gain, so it's pretty a pretty big climb on this one. And it took us about f six and a half hours six and a half hours so that's the deal uh, it's a pretty tough trail um, rocky. yeah the, it's rocky so it's kind of hard on your feet and hard on your knees and all that so but anyway Julie and I appreciate you watching I hope you enjoy this one because we worked hard for it uh, <laughs> and as always happy, happy hiking well we're on the road out of here and the weather's moving in right behind us that's looking up the canyon we just came down and you can tell it's coming out over here out here just in time.